Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. There's an Italian saying called la dolce vita, which is the sweet life. Then there's la dolce far niente, which is the sweet art of doing nothing. Italians work hard, but they also know when to take time off for the art of living well. Wait, for the collection oh, 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 breakfast? Yeah, uh, you're my best friend. Yeah, best friend. What little creation are you doing now? Hi, rings. Hey. Uh, it is. Say an artista. Artigiano. Artigiano, artisan, see. Si. Uh, Chicho is beautiful. But come on, let's go. Life's too short. I have to finish this work. You work hard, we gotta play hard. Otherwise. Beautiful day. Go to the spa, have a picnic. My customer come with us. You know what? You're right. This is the time of Dolce Farnian. Let's go. Bravo, finalmente. Okay, but what are we eating? Cantini. Have I ever let you starve before? Eh. How about some paninos for the road? Ah, okay. Buono. Panini di prosciutto, sì. un po' di magari... Vino, vino. Sì, eh, certo, vino. La salsiccia, vino, la salsiccia. La perché la Silla... La Silla vuole la salsiccia. Oh, ciao. Ciao, Nico. Throughout Italy, you'll find these specialty food shops where there are tons of wine, olive oil, and of course, deli meats. Here in Tuscany, they're famous for their deli meats. I love these shops. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Ciao, Carlo. Allora, un po' di formaggi. I have this new. There's this wonderful cheese. Put in the ground for about a year. Per quanto tempo? Per sei mesi. For six months, okay, someone told me a year. Mm. So fragrant, really strong. Posso? Provare? Certo. Certo. Give me a little Look. sample. Mm. Ah, marmellata. No, eh, sì, ma è una marmellata con senape, senapata. Mm. I have to be careful because Carlo always fans me up. E questo è di Montalcino. I should just come here for lunch. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is pork with fennel. You see the fennel seeds? Yeah. It's aged with truffle. Yeah, yeah. Kibworm. Now this is always fascinating. Tuscans love their lard. When you put in the mood, you an explosion, an explosion of flavor. Explosion, yes, and the squish. Like yeah. This. An explosion of flavor. Sure. This is the famous prosciutto yes. from Siena. Yes. Aged Asionato for how long? 14 months. 14, 14 months. Qui si assaggia solamente al naturale. When something is wonderful, you always just try it natural. You don't even need too bread, much. it's too no. good. Si. <laughs> Salato, mm. I don't know, I think the girls are gonna get upset at this Chicho. <laughs> Got it. Ciao Carlo, ciao. Oh Chicho, a dopo, ciao. Pizza pasta is a wonderful example of how Italians never throw anything out. They have this love to create dishes out of leftovers. Basically, it's 
frying pasta, leftover pasta, and just flattening out like a pizza, hence pizza pasta. Now, of course, you can use any type of leftover pasta, penne, fusilli, orecchietti, which means little ears, but I really prefer spaghetti because once you fry it, all the individual strands get nice and crispy and wonderful. In Italy, when you ask someone about a recipe and the measurements, they usually say, ah, quanto basta, which is like a philosophy on life, as much as you need. And in this recipe, the same premise applies. For the eggs, quanto basta, as many as you need to basically get all the noodles covered with your yolk mixture. Make sure that you just put very little salt because of course, the leftover pasta is already salted. Now, if you travel to Napoli, You'll see all these wonderful vendors selling pizza pasta, all this great stuff for like a buck. Back home, we have french fries and hot dogs. There, they sell pizza pasta. Make sure that all the noodles get coated with the egg so that when you fry it, they become nice and crocante. Some freshly grated grana padano. You can never use too much grana padano. <laughs> The great thing about this pizza pasta dish is you can make it in the morning and have it in the evening. Or leave it in your fridge, it tastes fantastic the next day, it holds really well. Grab a spaghetti strand, and if it sizzles, you know it's at the right temperature. Flatten out all your pasta. And I like to make my pizza pasta very thin because that reduces the cooking time and it gets it nice and crispy. I mean, that's what I like and leave it. Just let it cook for two minutes on each side, and that's it. I'm gonna check the bottom of the pizza pasta. It's just how I like it, nice and crispy. Now I'm gonna grab my plate. Hopefully you did not put too much olive oil, otherwise you could burn yourself. And then one sweeping action. Just slide it back in. And we're gonna let it cook for another two minutes. Looks good, tastes even better. So we're really going. Yeah, okay. you know, you know Marco. Taking time off work. Taking time off work. I'm okay. a bad influence. Okay. So towel. Uh, the CD. The one that likes. One that she likes. One that you like. Five that I like. And I was sort of hoping for a potato frittata. A frittata, I mean pizza pasta. Um, okay, frittata. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. An Italian frittata is best described as an open-faced omelet. I like to call my frittatas, I clean out the fridge frittata. What I do is go through the fridge, and I clean out 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 These are some peppers that were not looking great. If there are a couple of spots that are bruised, cut them out, discard them. Now Nina loves her potato frittata. Now a good trick is to slice the potatoes very thinly. This way you don't have to boil them and they'll cook in no time at all. Last vegetable, I'm just gonna use a white cooking onion. Now you can use a shallot or a green onion. The great thing about frittata is you can substitute it with spinach, onions, mushrooms, anything that tickles your fancy. Generously lay some olive oil at the bottom of the pan. And we're just gonna put all the ingredients, all the vegetables, 
to the same pan. Good amount of salt. Cook the vegetables for about three, four minutes or until fork tender. I think one of the most important things in a frittata is grating fresh cheese. Asiago, Pecorino Romano, all that stuff is fabulous. We have some ground padano here. Give it a good mix so all the cheese gets evenly distributed. With the egg mixture, make sure you guide it along with the fork to evenly distribute it along the pan to fill in all those empty pockets. Lower the heat, put a lid on, it'll be ready in about 3-4 minutes. Hey, Chicho. Oh, Chicho. Allora, vino. Got it. Food, cibo. Got it. I'll be there in two seconds. Ciao, yeah, Nina. That's <laughs> fast. <laughs> No, we have Where I'm going? Are you sure? Left corner has to something. Vai avanti, ma. Vai avanti, ma ragazzi, uno ora perché se va avanti. Guys, let me take a look at this. Wrong page. Oh, turn, turn left here. Turn no, left here. Turn left here. This street over here, turn left. No, we're at San Magnato. I'm stopping. Yeah. If you tell me where I'm going, otherwise no, I'm stopping. No. Watch it, Joe. Turn left here. No, no, no. Are you I know. sure? Guys, can I see the map, please? Had it for an hour. San Magnato. San Magnato è verso Siena, ma sei pazzito? I'm going crazy. Oi, the way we're going. I'm stopping. It's San Magnato. San Magnato, si. San Vincenzo. San Vincenzo. San Vincenzo. San Vincenzo. That's why we brought these girls along. There is a cartello here. Cartello. Here, here's the directions right here. Okay. San Vincenzo. Gira qui! One of the things I love about Italy is the spontaneity of dropping by a friend's place and cooking a simple meal using a few ingredients.
thanks Danny for allowing uh, me to grab a couple of uh, Pomodoro. pomodorini <laughs> and I'm gonna make una ricetta molto 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 semplice e buona e buona excellent and this recipe is le orchiette con Lingui. Right. Orecchiette, which means little ears, thank you. <laughs> Con la ricotta, which means recooked cheese. E pom pomodorini, which is little cherry tomatoes. And this is, of course, a dried orecchiette, which I prefer for this dish. Fresh orecchiette becomes too heavy with la ricotta. While I throw in the orecchiette into the boiling water, Danny's gonna cut the cherry tomatoes in quarters, in quattro. Passaggio importante. Esatto, very important. <laughs> and, uh, that's it, dead simple. A good salting to the water. Give a good stir the first 15 seconds that you throw the orchiette or any pasta into the water. You know, I've often heard people say add olive oil, but just give a good stir, that's all you need to do, and it will not stick together. Tomatoes, pomodorini are done. We're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Tocca a te adesso. Si, bene. Eh, you're an excellent cook, no, so. Guarda, stai facendo a te la ricetta. Si, okay. Perfetto. We're just going to let it cook per 20, 30 secondi. Get it heated up with the olive oil. Si insaporisce, right? It gets nice and tasty. Danny, are you listening, eh? I know you're an excellent cook. No, sono senza parola. Si, senza parola. I doubt you're without words. Add a little bit of water from the boiling pasta. And that's going to lengthen the sauce. Okay, Danny. Cosa ti serve, David? Io voglio solo contribuire per questa Yeah, I know you want to contribute. Uh, just being next to me, you're <laughs> contributing. Okay. La ricotta, we're going to add right at the end. The ricotta, we're going to first drain the pasta. Si, mm -hmm. questo. si scola la pasta. Danny, can ricotta, I have some David? ricotta? Si. Eccoci qua. A little bit of ricotta. Bene. Just cut some up, si. Si, si. Mi sembra bene. buonissimo, it's baby. It's going to be fantastic. Anche il basilico te lo metto? Sì, il basilico va bene. Va bene. Oh. Vai. Uno. Now, with the excess water, it's going to help break down the ricotta and make it nice and creamy. Saltare. Saltare. Questo è molto incredibile. Io non riesco a fare questa. No. And I'm going to just remove it from the stove. <laughs> Or from Danny's fire here. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil. È una pasta velocissima, anche molto Very, very quickly. Eh? A little bit of salt. È okay. Va bene l'olio, sì, David? Va perfetto. Okay. Grazie. Perfetto. Okay. Okay, Danny. David. You cut some coriander or cilantro. Siamo. Of course, if you don't care for cilantro, you can always add more basil, basilico, or even prezzemolo, which is parsley. Bene? Oppure un po' di coriander. Eh, of okay. course. <laughs> Bene, grazie carissima. Prego, David. Okay. Yuli, can you ring the bell, please? Guys, come on! Again, these guys are sleepy heads. <laughs> Mark was supposed to work today. We took him out and uh, andiamo a Terme, no? For a picnic. <laughs>
So Cantini. Cantini, oh. vuoi questo? Sì, Tomorrow you're back to work, my friend. Eh, sì, eh. Davvero, I don't, no, <laughs> non mi fai pensare. <laughs> Sì, okay, la sì, mi piace. Usually I don't bring a half pizza pasta, Nina. No, it's not a half. It's just missing a little bit. Shamarco, you'll make me a bracelet for my ankle. Of course, like mine, yeah, like this. Yes, very good. Un po' di frittata? Lo voglio anch'io. Sì, dai. Poi. Che bellezza. Guys, a toast to working hard and playing hard, no? Okay. Yeah. Salute. Salute. Thank you.